So I'd like to preface this video with a little bit of backstory, right? I used to lure back in 2012, about 1,582 days ago, I was this young kid, 17 years old, sitting down on his computer, ready to lure people for whatever came past that little barrier. But the funny thing about this was, it was kind of like a Robin Hood situation. I did have a live stream back then, and I did have a YouTube channel where people were generally active, and I did want to do something great for them, but I didn't really have that much money. I was kind of sort of poor, not really, but I had like a little issues with gambling you know I would go and I would dice and then I would lose all my money and then I would go make my money back at frost dragons but then I would lose it all again or, or something would happen to it and it would just be inconvenient for me so all of a sudden this guy David approached me one day out of the blue and just said hey do you want to try luring do you know what that is and I said yeah I know what luring is I, I've been lured before I, and it kind of sucked and I don't really like doing that to other people that that kind of that, that's just really shitty you know so he brought to me this idea, right? He buys gold from this website, right? He was a shady person, okay? I'm not gonna deny that. So I guess over the past couple of months, David had become very familiar with the patterns of this gold site and the accounts that people were using to uh, distribute the gold that was being bought. David would start scoping out the front of the Grand Exchange where they sold their gold so that he could start getting a hold of all these accounts that were actually buying gold. And then within 30 minutes to an hour of people buying their gold, David would already be talking to them. I know it seems kind of shitty that somebody spent their real life money on virtual items in a game and then I immediately came and took it from them within an hour of them actually having it. But the problem with that is they were breaking the rules and luring back then wasn't against the rules. It was just another form of PKing or another style of like team style PKing, I guess. Or it was kind of like this gray area of scamming. Like if you talked a certain way while you were conducting the lure, you could get banned for it. But if you just kind of said, hey, go out there and take that gold and you did it, you pretty much were on your own. David and I were aware of that, and nine times out of 10, people would just walk out there on their own free will to pick it up. The crazy part about most of these lures was that they actually just worked themselves. We told them that we would give them more money than they ever had, and they tried to beat the system by telegrabbing something or figuring out the lure before it even took place. And by the time they actually realized what they were doing, I was already clawing them down from full HP. At the time, I was very conflicted on whether or not to feel bad about it. Because, like, on one hand, I was luring somebody and they kind of put some sort of trust in us, maybe. Because most of lures that take place that are successful are pretty much successful because the person who got lured was just really greedy. And I, I don't feel bad for that reason. However, it was kind of like these kids, literal kids, were so naive that they thought that they could try to like screw somebody else over or, or get more money for, for nothing. And that is just like where I was like, oh man, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have lured these kids or, you know, maybe their kids... Uh, out there that have a credit card that shouldn't have credit cards. Uh, I don't know, but I thought it was like Really really tough at the time because it was like such a dilemma. That's why I gave all the money away I did and unfortunately I deleted the video I was looking back for it I deleted the video where I finally did my giveaway I think I mentioned it in like one of my like update videos that I had done, but I had never actually like done the full um, video giveaway and then kept it. I did one of those, oh, I'll upload it until everybody sees it, because I only had 300 subscribers at the time, and then just delete it afterwards. And that's what wound up happening, unfortunately, because I was trying to download a bunch of random clips from the past, and then just kind of checking them in um, as we go along in this, like, kind of journey through the past. And I think that's why I made this video, and I think that's why I'm watching it right now back with all of you guys. And I think that... It's cool. It's really cool, and it's like good memories for me. I mean, I, the Robin Hood thing was kind of weird, and I don't really know how I feel about it still because I did. I took from the gullible and uh, the real world traders, and I gave to another group of people who I don't know if they did the same things. They could have been the exact same people for all I know, but instead they just got free money. And I thought that that was like, I thought that was a good thing. I thought I was doing good, so I, I took bad out of the game and kind of just recycled it, I guess. So I guess like overall it was a futile effort, but I had a lot of fun doing it and I really didn't have to go after people who are like 12 that worked so hard for their gear because we watched them buy the gold. You know, you, you only turn one direction when 
you're trading somebody, you know, and that's towards the person you're trading. So we confirmed it. And even afterwards, we started asking these people, like, why do you buy gold? And they first deny it, of course. And then we're like, well, we saw you. And that's how we kind of groomed you and found out that, you know, you were buying gold is that we kind of talked you through more or less of uh, admitting to what you were doing. So a lot of them admitted to it. A lot of them like said that they were going to stay away. Uh, however, there's this one guy that we found. I remember we lured him for a uh, full set of dragon claws and I think a bandaged chest plate. And this was like totally separate of all the uh, things that you'll see in this video. Um, but we lured him for about 35 mil. Immediately after we left Red Portal and went to the Grand Exchange, we found him buying gold again. Like, he had already been on the horn calling these people up, saying, hey, look, I need more gold. I, I already am out of the last fucking whatever. Like, I, I just think that's so crazy that somebody could just lose wh however much money that was IRL and just be fine with it. But whatever, his prerogative... Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching it this far. Give it a like if you did enjoy. And as always, whatever time you're watching this, hello from the past. I will see you in the future.